All right, you guys. So, I have been doing some IG videos, IG TV videos, and I wanted to actually do a makeup tutorial today. So, that's what we're going to do. I am actually going for the smoky eye look, okay? And for those of you who don't know, this was like my signature look when I was in my early 20s. I am in my 30s now, so I want to see if I can still do this, if I can still pull it off. So, I'm not using like no expensive makeup. This is literally from like a Marshalls or a Primark. Or something like that. So it's not fancy smancy makeup. It's about the brushes you have and the way you're moving the brush. Okay, so I just put some white on this little, it's actually a crease brush. But I'm going to go right here and we're just going to get some white all up in there. Okay, so this is really like... A huge part I think of when you're doing that smoky eye look when you're going for the smoky eye look I think a lot of people get confused and they don't know how to do it do you put the white on first do you put the black on first when do you start blending all these are very legitimate questions okay so I always like to put the white on first that's just me um I am actually you dipping my brush in water in between each little time I stop and that actually the water is actually going to help the white stay in place as well too so let's get the other side done. I need to get a facial done so bad. I need to get waxed. I'm going to have the hubs do it tonight from home. I don't know that my local person um, is open right now because things are just starting to open up in Massachusetts. So we shall see. We shall see. Um, I really find it interesting, though. Like, you know, this country makes no sense. I'm all for the protesting, by the way. Okay? I'm all for the protesting. But how did they... How can they tell us to socially distance? But then... Um, I thought they'd be flipping out at the riots. Like, because people weren't supposed to be out in crowds like that. So it really goes to show... Like, our constitutional rights do exist, and they, you know, our government can't tell us to stay in, because we have the constitutional right to protest, so it's that simple. So, I was really actually proud. I thought people wouldn't protest because of all the quarantine issues and such, but they did. And I thought that was really cool, that people know their constitutional rights, because too many don't. And, like, when I was younger, I didn't, um... I'm going to share a story actually later on my Unjustice System series that I do uh, about a police brutality issue I actually had. So, I mean, it just doesn't happen to black people. Um, don't think that, that just because you're white, don't let your privilege get in the way. Like, yes, you can get your ass fucked up too. Don't get it twisted, especially if you have black and brown friends. Like, they're going to go after you first. So... The cops that are like that. I'm not saying all cops are like that. I have to be really clear because I do have friends who have husbands who are police officers. And I'm not shitting on them because they're really nice people. Okay? And, you know, I've had a couple of good experiences with police officers where they actually have helped me. So, I mean, you got to take the good with the bad. Fortunately, in our world, there is more good than bad. But when you watch the media, the media is telling you completely different. Completely different. Like, they're telling you it's all violence. All, 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 all violence. That's, like, what they want you to believe. They don't. It's really sad um, that they want it that way. But when you know the truth, like, you know the truth. 
And, like, we can stop violence. Like, let's just talk about it for a second. Violence in general sucks, right? I had a violent upbringing. I'm not going to front. Um, my home was a bit chaotic. You know, me and my siblings fought a lot. And I chose to change that when I had a family. And in regards to racism, if you were raised racist, it's, it's as simple as not doing the, that's abuse. Raising a child to be racist is abuse. So don't put that abuse, don't forward that abuse to your kid. All right. And teach them to do better. Because karma is a motherfucker. Okay. And if you're still racist in the year of 2020, I can almost promise you that your grandbaby is going to come out the race that you, that you're a racist against. Okay, this happens. It's called karma. God works in great ways. And um, and then you're going to find yourself realizing that you judged and were racist towards a group of people who didn't deserve it. Because then you're really going to get to know how humble and kind black people are. There's a reason why when I was in school, I would always like hang out with the black kids, not just because like there was only a few of them and I was always quiet and usually sitting by myself, but because they, I noticed they weren't bullying. They were nice, you know? So that's just something I picked up on when I was a kid. I don't understand why some black people, I mean, some white racist white people are like so intimidated and afraid of black people. Like what did they do to you? What have blacks done to white Americans as a whole? Like, what have they done? We've done, well, not, I can't, I can, I can't speak for like a whole group of people, but I might as well while I'm at it. We can't, um, we've done, the, uh, the white race has done way worse than, um, violence than, 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 we, than they've done to us. Like, come on. You can't even argue with me on that one. Okay. So what is this? So, like, I feel like they don't deserve this at all. At all. And then the media wants everyone, every minority group to think you're oppressed. And you're not. If you think you're oppressed, then you're going you're gonna to oppress yourself. If you think you can do anything, you will do anything. And it took me. A very long time to realize that. Um, I always felt like I wouldn't be able to su succeed. That that was something for white men. Not a second generation American. You know, I, I didn't think that my mom being the first person born in this country. That I could ever be successful. And I believe that. That I believe that because my family immigrated here on my mom's side. That, that we were oppressed somehow. And we weren't. You know, I started to believe it, but my grandfather took something, had nothing, and made something out of it when he came to this country. So how was he oppressed? But a unfortunately, a lot of people, especially when you're when you're immigrating to the country, you know, you want to fit in, and you watch the news, and you think that's true, and you think that, you know, you you don't know the culture, so it's really hard. It's really hard for immigrants right now and, you know, and of course, our black Americans. It's really, really hard. Is it as hard as the media is depicting it? I don't know. How oppressed do you want to feel? How oppressed do you want to feel? You know what I mean? You choose how you feel. But these, these media groups and all that, they are really trying to make us feel depressed, okay, us like stay-at-home moms and such, work-from-home moms, they're trying to make us depressed, and they're trying to freaking have other minorities be think they're oppressed, so meanwhile, nobody grows, everyone's stagnant and angry, and that is just like not the reality, the reality is you choose how you feel. And if you do feel oppressed, like, yes, police are known to target black men at the rate the media is saying, no, 
but they are known to do that. But does that make you oppressed? Yes, it does to a point. But is that stopping you from getting your college degree? Now, if you don't make it home, it's going to. You see, this is what you guys got to understand, why people are mad. It's because people are oppressed in that regard. It's when you are targeting a group of people and you kill somebody and take their life. Well, guess what? They can't go to school and finish that degree. You know, and maybe that person never even felt oppressed. It's got nothing to do with feelings, okay? Because when you act upon your feelings, that result's going to be bad, okay? But when you react on facts and you look at the facts and you know that you are smart, educated, you're not oppressed, okay? You're not. That's the media trying to trick you into staying into a certain income bracket so they can keep making money, the rich can keep getting richer, and the poor can keep keep getting poorer. That's what that's about. So I'm just going to put some lipstick on. I'm going to blend this real quick, and then it's done. I love doing these little chats because I feel like, you know, whether you agree with me or not, we're not going to debate. We're still going to get along. And if we choose to debate, it's going to be a healthy debate and a respectful, eloquent debate. Because in America, everyone has the right to their own opinion. And that's the great thing about it. And that's the thing I love about it. So let me just do some blending. Where's my highlighter? It's usually really handy. But you know what? I'm not going to do highlighter today. Sometimes I feel like it's just too, too much. That's the look. This was my look. I just had to always do this look, so I figured I would do it again. Do a quick makeup tutorial. Um, I do get to put eye mascara on, too. Smoky eye. Smoky eye is really good. Like, I used to wear it as an everyday look. An everyday look. And um, it's more so for, like, a nighttime look, really. Um, but I mean, you can do whatever you want. It's your makeup. You do, you do you. You do what makes you happy. You see? You make you happy. The media don't. So how the fuck can the media oppress us? How the fuck can the media make us feel depressed? How can the media tell me I'm oppressed because I'm a woman? Yeah, there is pay gaps and that needs to be, that needs to be addressed. But I mean, it's like if you tell a dog every single day, Every single day that he's bad. He's a bad dog. And he's not a bad dog. Guess what he's going to end up believing? That he is a bad dog. Right? So that's what America's kind of been doing for the past 400 years. Is, you know, telling blacks no matter what. Even when they're not going to be. Even when police brutality, when we end it. They're just going to keep up with the oppression. That if your skin ain't white, that you're oppressed. That. That is just disgusting to me i can't find my uh mascara so i am gonna do i am going to do no way i'm gonna do a little bit of pink heart and i am done all right did you yeah but it isn't come on come say hi this is igtv snacks i have hi this is my yeah, son. I have one. And this is why I speak out for him. Mama, why do you keep, like, hiding snacks in your room? Because these aren't for, those aren't for you. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Mm. Mama, are you eating them all? So that's the, that's the look. Um, a smoky eye. Maybe, you know, I was going to go heavier on the black, but I'm getting older, so I'm just going to keep it like this. If you guys have any questions about makeup techniques, anything like that, what type of makeup I used... Just holler at your girl. And if you want to get in the discussion about racial inequality and the media really trying to just create a narrative in our country, let's talk about it. Not argue, talk. Because we're all we're all family, we're all one race, and we all know how to speak respectfully to one another. All right, y'all.